Hey, what's up everybody, guys? So, today I'm going to be giving you guys a promise review of the triple review of the Jesta. So on the right, we have the one that I reviewed before, the regular Jesta. In the back, we got my favorite one, the Jesta Cannon. Then on the left, we got Jesta Equest type, the Bean Sniper Rifle, and this gun. I don't really know what to call it. I know there's a name, but I'm too lazy to look it up. But anyways, today we're not going to be really doing too much of an in-depth review. I will link this guy's review up there. So if you want to see full in-depth of the articulation, more of the details, and whatever. I'm going to be mainly reviewing the Equus type and the Canon for what it comes with in comparison to the basic model. So the real and only difference between this and the standard release of the Jagan is the one headpiece. So all it has is just a drop down scope and then it has slightly altered colors. The Equus type has more of a purple tint or hue while the regular release has a let's say Gundam black hue that they say Banshee and the Gundam Mark II are like they're the black Gundams but they're not actually black they're just navy or dark blue. The other weapon that it comes with other than the amazing beam rifle is what I call the net catcher so it's not really anything special especially just straight from the box no paint no line gap filling it's literally just two pieces i mean they give you stickers but of course as you know my thing stickers i don't use them for what he looks like with the net launcher in hand the sucky thing is that the tabs don't really work and i really tried but especially with the forward one as you can see his hand can't really get into position to slide it in neither with the back one but that one is the hands tab won't fall out so it might just be on my end but i do like it i wish that they added something in the middle just like literally a round tube or a large grenade i don't know but whatever there's more than enough to uh let your imagination roll with now for his bean sniper rifle if you had built the Rizelle commander type or the one with the backpack and this sniper or this bean cannon on the back of it you know exactly how big this thing is so it is definitely a space taker and luckily it comes with a base is it the best base i mean it's really up to opinion I'll get more into the articulation in a bit, but I do gotta say that I love it. I love the Rizel commander type and the fact that it's literally just, whoopsie, the fact that it's literally just his gun, but with a couple more bits and pieces with the stand and whatever. And they're all, I shouldn't say all of them, most of it's articulated. I really like it. So for the price of it, I don't believe that I paid an exorbitant amount, especially since I got straight from Japan or buy same with the Jessica Cannon. So in a way, I kind of got a discount on them, but let's say for the price range of this guy, I definitely had to pay for maybe another just a and a half. But as you can see with it coming with another gun and then the whole stand with a giant beam snap rifle, I, I'm not mad. I really do think that it's worth it. Now for a closer in-depth look, I'm going to go over the handles and then I'll get into the mean weapon. So it doesn't have a drop down tab or a drop out it is just on a giant swivel with a hole in it i mean i like it i don't think that there needs to be a drop down or drop out tab for everything if it has those kinds of fingers and it does have the regular handle it's not really meant for the gesta but i mean they included it i like it of course you can move it up and then it does have a tap on the bottom that does go into there which means it's more secure but i kind of like it looking up like that and I don't really want to just lock it into place all the time. And then for the main cannon, it is literally just the same one. It has two scopes with a reflective or light green clear plastic. I did not add in any stickers. So what you see is what you get. And I'm not really complaining because I always like these scopes. They have a little bit of detail in them, if you can see. It's not a lot, but I'm very, very happy that they included it because shoot, man, they've been skimping out on some things. So now for the articulation, it's not really a lot from what I hear people say, but to me, it is enough. So once you mess around with it a little bit, you have to untap that which is pretty tight get two points of articulation here that you can slide it up and down from and then to lock it in you just find the slot and it does have a tooth so i would say be very careful do not stress it too much 
slide it back and then voila it's back in its position as shown before this is just on a swivel joint there is a little bit here right in the middle just to turn then you do have moving legs these don't it stand other than these kind of move and excuse that that's blood i literally put blood sweat and tears into this it's not a lot of movement but you know whatever and don't really try to move these too much because they're just on peg so it literally only moves up and down no other direction and then the main leg does collapse and extend not a lot but it does and then you can also remove it, this piece and then put it up here so that you can get a little bit more of depth of range but i like to put it here just because i'm in no way taking photographs of it right now to where i would need that yeah once you get it all situated it is not a bad looking stand i don't really get how people are mad at the stand i mean i'm just very happy that they included one i really do like it is it worth the price of a whole nother Jesta? No, but would I rather it be included in a set instead of a whole option pack that I would have to spend 50 bucks on? Yes. So at the end of the day, is it worth it? To me, it is. I do gotta say, posing him with this is very hard though, because it does need to be on a raised platform for his height to really be able to do anything, especially because the stock in the back, I had to hide it under the arm. For him to be able to put his hand in without the rest of his body being in weird contortion that could not stand on its own. So that is my biggest gripe about this is that you need to have something else to put the gun on for him to be a little bit comfortable on. And it's like, come on man. That's why I wish that these two back blades could post a little bit more or extend more. Or you can even just cut it off and do it yourself. But I don't really know how to. I just rely on the front one. And obviously that is not enough. And even extending this, as I showed before, it just brings it forward or up. It does not deal with the hand. If the stock could clap, this would be a great thing. But because it can't, eh, oh well. Last but not least, we got my favorite of the bunch the just the cannon so this guy i got from somebody in japan who didn't clean up all the notes i was like hey let me take them apart and do it and then in the process i didn't build him for a couple of months i said that i would rebuild him for you guys but he's been in the box ever since then and he has deteriorated in a few ways so the first way is in his hands. If I move him even a little bit, wow, he's actually holding it. Uh, they don't really stand up well. So my main thing as to why I think this is happening is just because of old age and because this is my third time putting him together. Uh, and of course, just from regular wear and tear from him being in the box. Of course, I don't really know what happened in there. And then he is just very loose in the waist and the hips and the knees and all the crucial points he's just a little funky everything still works as it's supposed to the cannons move up and down without a problem the hips are empty just because i separated the grenades from those and the ones on the thighs are pretty much i just separated them into their individual ones and then because of that they can't slide in and then that piece is just loose it's not lost and yes this guy is scratchy because i saw nubs and i wanted them gone my only gripe for him is why didn't they release him earlier i would love to have him in hand as a kid but then again i probably wouldn't have taken as good care of him as i did now and then of course the fact that just not everyone wants him so understandable not everyone likes a big clunky suits and shoot i'm one of them i just like this guy because he's an upgraded jesta and it does come with a regular beam rifle but the guy who i got from broke the barrel so it's just staying in the bag for now with the rest of the parts i need to add on later and for real despite his heavy package it doesn't really limit mobility all that much if at all i mean the only way that it does in the can is the wrist to shoulder articulation i mean and yes going up and down but as you know with the just a he doesn't really have that much anyways he can pretty much only go up to there and for the two together 
you can also see just how much Bandai changed the colors. It's not a lot, but when you put them next to each other in pretty good lighting, you can see the hue difference. So yes, be aware that when you get the new one, the colors are different. So in closing, I have to say that they are all worth it, but the one I would have to say is the most worth it is the Equas type, just because it is newer. And that's going to be it for the review today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day, nice evening, nice morning, or whatever time it is for you guys. The next video that I'm going to be doing is a double review of my other favorite grunt suit, the Jagan because I did get the Star Jagan. So make sure to look out for that. I also got a few other high grades of Jagan. I might just do a triple review once I get the basic one, but I'll let you know. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.